Welcome to Chaos Head Noah. Jesus, Louise, Jesus, I did not expect such a dark and like foreboding uh, opening screen here. Like I know the Steins Gate science adventure series can get quite dark, but like right off the bat like this, eh? Jeez. Anyway, uh, this game is, uh, for those who don't know, who uh, was is the very first in the uh, Steins Gate series. And, uh, not Steins, God, I keep saying Steins Gate, Steins Adventure series. And uh, I've already played Steins Gate and Zero, and this is the highly recommended to me by uh, a number of people, including Olga. And uh, we are playing the translation patch, as you can see, because... I have been shown that in the original translation, which was apparently done by someone who clearly didn't give two shits, <laughs> what was here instead of this, if you were God and your delusions could become reality, what delusions would you wish for? A sensual world? A despotic society? Destructive sanctions? Or, you know what's written here? <laughs> Something fucking about that old Domino's Pizza mascot, the fucking Noid. <laughs> Olga showed it to me, and I could not believe my eyes. Anyway, welcome to the stream, Olga, Void Dwellers, Armagus, Lucky Torius, Jeremy, Main Strange, and Erga, and Aaron. Woo! And do not try to read for the first few minutes, because there's a big auto-scroll. God damn it. Fucking auto-scroll, the bane of my existence as a Let's Player of visual novels. Oh my god. Hello, Emia, welcome to the stream. We're just about to start. All right, and uh, yes, I was told that basically to just do my first route. This is what I usually do for any visual novel, but to do my first route to the end, and uh, then follow a guide from there on. So uh, yeah, let's get let's go start. So yeah, quick save. Gaze reads down from the sky. His eyes are just watching through through thick black pitch Pours down on me like rain. Don't look at me.雨の冷たさより背中を預けている瓦礫の冷たさのせいでさっきから体の震えが止まらない。ひどく寒い。突き刺さってくる誰のものかもわからない天からの視線。それから逃げるように僕はわずかに首を持ち上げて周囲を見
僕の自由にならないならこんなの僕の体じゃないあるいは生まれた時から僕は自由なんかじゃなかったかもしれない心の保管してある場所なんて誰にもわからないんだそれなのに一体誰がこの体の中に僕の心があるって言い切れるんだ Sorry for not saying anything. I don't want to interrupt. Other thoughts. There's someone else. それとも君がもう死んでいるからそして前髪で隠れそうになっているその瞳は Yeah, it's the pink hair girl. Boku, Miruna. Hidok Kanasso ni mo mieru. Kyoki jinte yo ni mo mieru. Nani mo utsushite inai yo ni mo mieru. Moshi mo. Sekai ni o boku to kanojo no futari dake shika inakute. Koshite. お互いだけを永遠に見つめ合っていたら僕の世界は彼女の瞳に映るものだけになるのかなおわ彼女の世界は僕の瞳に映るものだけになるのかなおわ彼女の世界は僕の瞳に映るものだけになるのかな彼女
even though she is about to kill him. ね、涙薄れゆく意識の中で僕は空へと手を伸ばす。誰か教えて。僕たちのあの空は。This seems like my kind of game right here. Some kind of tragic romance. Here we go, opening scene that'll demonetize the video. Let's go! Okay, I'm so sorry for not saying anything before. Welcome to the stream. I was trying to I was trying to let the scene go. Oh god, a million people <laughs> arrived. Welcome to the stream. Costaville, Nagitona, God to Heaven. Lord Butler. Let's see, and yes, we are playing with the patch. YouTube. Oh yeah, this is definitely. Oh, there she is. The videos usually get demonetized because of uh, copyrighted music. Oh, they all have magic. I really didn't expect magical girls in the science adventure series. Do you guys chaos head Noah? Yes, and we are playing with the patch. No noids here. Chapter one, eyes and eyes. Do you guys have trouble hearing? I can make the volume louder. Oh, you like the rose gun days? Oh, thank you for watching that one. I couldn't see the gaze. Here we go. I can actually click now. I may as well just make a voice for this dude right now. He seems very battlery. I couldn't see it, even those watching me. It was strange. For as long as I could remember, I sometimes felt like I was being watched by some mysterious gaze. Well, hello, Aranga. I don't, don't think I welcomed you before. Whenever I turned to look, there was never anyone there. Still, I was convinced that someone was watching me. Tell by the chills that ran down my neck. Maybe a bit less deep? Okay. Was I just being too self conscious? 
Or did I just have a fear of being watched? Because he seemed pretty deep in the things that I thought. Okay. Way back in elementary school, I thought of it differently. That gaze is God watching over me. And I genuinely believed it, too. A little more wimpy. He didn't see. He didn't look like a wimp at all. He looked pretty badass. Really? Okay. Uh, thank you so much for the donation, Void Dweller. I genuinely believed it, too. I'd even written an essay about it back then. In retrospect, I must have just had a bad case of the Chunibyo. <laughs> oh my god, we've all had that experience. Yep, the cat in the background, sorry. But now it hurts just thinking about it. If anyone were to read it now, I'd probably shut myself away from society for the rest of my life. Fee-hee-hee. <laughs> I can still remember the title of that essay. Whose Eyes Are Those Eyes? By Nishijo Takumi, Class 4-3. Oh, wow. It's like a 3D view of his room. Look at this low-poly Nintendo 64 style boxes. My, I'll, I'll, I'll read the thoughts in my own voice. But yeah. Like that are uh, like right here, if if they're on the bottom here, my chair groaned hoarsely as I leaned back. Don't look at me. I muttered that toward the gloomy ceiling, irritated. Naturally, there was no response. This was my room. I lived here alone. Aside from me, of course, there wasn't a single person here. I tried turning around. Oh my god, wow, that's a lot of figures. What the f- Is he living inside of a truck? My room was dim and cluttered. With various belongings stacked all the way to the ceiling. Ah, oh, may as well just read in his voice. Since it is his thoughts. That is a lot of figures. And yeah, this is an old school monitor. He, he has a two monitors that- He has an LCD and a CRT monitor, it looks like. He's playing an MMO here and just, um, he's on the regular, yeah, ESO, so Elder, Elders, is this like, is that Elder Scrolls Online or some kind of, like, uh, equivalent? The only source of light in the room was the desk lamp near my PC. Is he living inside of a truck? There weren't any windows, so the darkness should come as no surprise. And since you couldn't see outside, you couldn't even tell whether it was night or day. The game predates Elder Scrolls Online? Wow. Predicting the future. I started speaking into the dark corners of my room. Oh yeah, you're right, he does sound a lot higher here. My name is Nishijo Takumi. I'm 17, and I'm in my second year at Suimei Academy. Not like I really go to school much, though. Is it RuneScape? Uh, Nagitona? Well, that's just because I study from home. He really likes pink haired girls, you can tell. From uh, just all over right here. As long as I come in to take the tests, I can ace them all just fine. I'm pretty smart, you know? It wasn't like talking to myself would accomplish anything. It wasn't like anyone was going to show up out of nowhere. The darkness just kept on sitting there and being darkness. Yeah, it's like a, he's living inside of a shipping container, I think. It's 
Still, darkness was delusion fuel. Here we go. I know delusions are like a big thing in this game. I don't know anything else, but I've heard that word said in, in context of this, of uh, Chaos Head a lot. After all, the unseen might as well be the unknown. In the darkness, even if you know it's impossible, you couldn't help but wonder if something might be there, lurking in the shadows. Damn it, this wasn't helping. I was only making my own creepy delusions worse. Why did I do this to myself? Hello, Saya. Welcome to the stream. To get off the topic, I decided to keep monologuing. Oh, hello, Tor. Welcome to the stream. Right now, I'm deep in enemy territory. Uh, I mean, I'm living in Shibuya. This is the Kurenai Conference Hall. It's owned by my dad's property management company. It's, oh, it's, uh, am I just imagining? I knew he's on a shipping container. Dang. That must be so... The weather must be a fucking nightmare. Like, does he have a way to breathe? It must get so fucking sweaty. Oh my god. Poor Takumi. Like, his father won't even let him just stay inside the building? Jesus Christ. Oh, Fantasy Star Online. That, that makes sense. That makes sense. That must get so hot. Holy shit. But I'm just renting out a cheap shipping container on the roof. The air around here really does suck, though. I'm in Shinsen, which means a lot of small hills. It's exhausting. And if that weren't bad enough, the Love Hotel District is right around the corner. Oh, we were talking MMOs because there was an MMO on his screen, screen that said ESO. On his computer screen. Oh, does he get jealous of the couples? Oh, yeah, there's the Shibuya building. If I only lived in Akiva instead. That's where Okabe Rintaro is, and he's having all these fun time travel adventures. Now that'd be epic. Seriously, though, Shibuya is such a horrible city. It's as shitty as D Dennis Valley and ESO. Oh, wow, it's actually moving. Yeah, I know what an MMO is. This is another thing that, yeah, Science Adventure Series does. They, do, they have a, a glossary that's way... Way, 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 way detailed. But I I'm not going to click terms that, like, are obvious. ESO, ESO. ESO was the name of an MMORPG that was basically my life. Its full title was Empire Sweeper Online. There we go. It takes one year before Steins Gate. Thanks. It looks more like a PS1, but yeah. To me. I dive into Basilard. That's the world of ESO. Pretty much every day at this point. Sacrificing sleep in the process, of course. Dennis Valley was a region in ESO that was full of annoying mobs. They hit super hard, and yet they couldn't even be bothered to drop any decent loot. Oh, the loot grind. There we go. Only idiots went there to grind. Oh my god, Zarmegas. <laughs> With Ever-17. Yeah. If you guys ever saw Ever-17, Ever it actually... The, the characters, not even in a glossary, had to were li literally explaining the concept of logging in. 
Every vet worth his shit would go to the forest of Leide Le Le instead. I hope that's how you say that. It was a much better place to grind, and it was right nearby. Of course, that was where I went. Now here we go. Oh wait, I can't. Uh... God damn it! I was trying to click the thing out. Where's the? Oh, here's tips list. DQN. Pr pronounced Dokun. Here we go. Used to refer to people are stupid antisocial agents. Okay, so basically morons or something like that. Yeah. Like I was saying, this city is full of DQNs and egotistical, egotistical douchebags looking for an easy lay. I wish you'd just get demolished already. Ah, there we go. So long as I'm in the comfort of my own room, though, I don't need to put up with any of that. I have a top-of-the-line PC and super-fast internet, and that's all I need. It has 20 gigabytes! Can you imagine? I'll never fill up that space. It's all any student could ever need, really. Oh, right. That's why I call this room my base. As always, there wasn't a single living creature in here except me. I wonder why his dad just doesn't give him a room inside the building. Realizing how ridiculous I sound at talking to myself like this, I decided to stop introducing myself to whoever was watching me. <laughs> oh, is he aware of the player? <laughs> Still, though, this room is a total mess. It must smell horrible. Oh, there we go. <laughs> the whole room reeked of rot. I could feel the stagnating air crawling on my skin. These wounds, they will not heal. Empty w soda bottles and box lunches from the convenience store were scattered all over the floor. I know what Eroge is. Eroge, I see. Also, my bed was covered in piles and piles of Eroge. Thanks to that, I always slept on the couch instead. Wait a minute. Wait. He put the, the porn games on, on the bed? Why wouldn't you keep them on the computer? Or like near the computer. It's not like it's a book. <laughs> Damn, man. You look way cooler. <laughs> you look cute. You're lucky you're so fucking handsome, man. That's probably... <laughs> wow. Seriously, though, this place is a pigsty. Who the hell makes a mess like that? No, oh, me. <laughs> Fed up with my own creepy laugh, I took out my frustration on a plastic bottle lying by my foot. Oh, he does have air conditioning, thankfully. The bottle ricocheted off the wall and flew straight toward my shelf of perfectly organized figures. With a shriek, I left out of my chair to catch it. I'd never let anyone lay a finger on any of my hundred-ish waifus, daughters and older sisters. These girls were my darlings. Just looking at them soothed my aching heart. I made sure to tidy up their shelves once a week. It was the only place in the room I ever cleaned. Yeah, jewel cases broke so easily in, in, that, in those old days. Remember the old PC game boxes? They were like as big as a fucking cereal box for no reason. I was always looking for the best ways to display their cuteness. I constantly rotate and reposition them, trying to get the ultimate layout. Oh, I, I always did the same thing with my uh, gunpla. Naturally, if I let them get dusty, 
Then the whole thing would be ruined. So we always made sure to clean them regularly. Breathing a sigh of relief, I tossed the bottle aside and turned back to my PC. I kept my beloved PC enshrined at the back end of my room. Sarah Orville. Oh, here we go. So that's that girl. Next to my monitor was Saraton, honey scale pre-awakening version. Figure from my current favorite anime, Blood Tune, the animation. That sounds that sounds like it totally could be a real thing. <laughs> let me, let me read the glossary here. This is what things like are the glossary for. Sarah or Sarah Orgel. Fictional lead heroine of the anime Blood Tune the Animation. Her signature catchphrase is You big dum dum! Sarah is what Mum might call a Sundari childhood friend, yep. <laughs> Type character. She is 17 years old and a second year student at Meteor Academy. She can transform into a magical girl using the power of star. And she is accompanied by a mysterious familiar called something. As is typical, okay, so he's going to meet like real magical girls, I assume, and learn how it's different from his Japanese animes. Is that going to be like the story? As is typical of a magical girl, she wields a magical staff she calls Samurai Condenser. Despite it being referred to as a staff, its appearance is far too brutal for it to be truly considered such. In reality, it is very clearly a giant metal rod. Sarah will also use her staff for physical attacks on occasion. Or, to put it bluntly, she beats her enemies to a bloody pulp with it. Dang. So it's like a freaking Madoka kind of shit. Blood Tune was originally a manga, but it recently received an anime adaptation. Anime is currently airing with a total of 26 episodes planned. And since this is the mid-2000s, it will never get a season two. And they are going to remake those original 26 maybe <laughs> 15 years later, if you're lucky. And... Maybe continue it afterwards if it does well. <laughs> she sat there, striking a moe pose and smiling at me. Sarah, how are you, Sarah? Sarah, you're so cute, Sarah. I wonder what what I wonder. Like, does he like? I wonder, yeah, it is like clearly just one of those like Oni clubs is what she's she's uses as a weapon. It's like a club that an Oni would use is her weapon. Exactly like Yutori is still straight from the source material. Make a completely mid anime, which not even fans will like. Then they'll then later on they'll say like, oh, well, you know, we had the anime before, but nobody liked it. So I guess there's no interest in this property. <laughs> I wonder if, what, if he likes her just because of her looks or does he like like her personality St then it might be the looks because he has a lot of pink haired girls there or, or unless they're all just figures of her in different outfits staring longingly into Saraton's eyes I grabbed a nearby bottle of cola and took a sip it was lukewarm but I didn't care I would care that tastes horrible all right, let's get back to ESO. I sat back down and plopped my hands onto the keyboard. Just assuming that position made me feel relaxed. Need heart. I know a paladin. I know what that is. My character in ESO, Nate Hart, was a paladin. I already leveled him up to the max and reset twice. Right now, he was back to the max level, 50. That was the highest rank you could reach on official servers. ESO players far and wide knew me as Lightning Fast Nateheart. Oh, it's pronounced Nightheart. Thank you. Thank you, Olga. Nightheart. Okay. They treated me like a god. They already had all the rare weapons, armor, and magic. I still had only 95% of the total rear items, but eh, whatever, still work in progress. 
I wonder what he would do if he got everything in the game. Then again, it is an MMO, so it would be constantly updated. I had so m I know what RMT is. Yep, it's so much gold that I didn't even know what to do with it. Well, aside from RMT, real money trading, which I made a living off of, even if I stop grinding right now, I'd still have enough to keep living like this for half a year. Dang. Well, at least he's making something of a living for himself out of it. I wonder if he uses bots and macros to, like, uh, to farm, or is, is, is this before that era? Aside from just DSO stuff, I was particularly adept at chatting online. It was the only source of social interaction they ever got, after all. I give it, yep, there's At-Chan, right there. I gave advice on the huge anonymous forum At-Channel. I posted in epic threads, too, of course. Oh, yeah, and I had over 100 friends on Free Prepara, social network I used. Respect. Trust. I had it all right here. I didn't go to school. It wasn't so much I didn't want to, and more that I had no reason to. I could study anything online. Yeah, that's even more true these days. School's completely useless when you can get everything done from home. Well, I did need to attend every once in a while, or else I wouldn't earn enough credits to graduate. That was why I went to school as little as I possibly could. That was the smartest way for a student to live. My parents always nag me about it, though. Well, you know what? The parents, maybe the parents actually gave him a decent place to live, rather than a literal shipping container. Like, they, they own a building, so they can't be that poor. Like, just give them, like, a studio apartment, for the love of God. Parents always nag me about it, though. To make things easier, I'd invented the minimum attendance chart on Excel. Oh, my God. <laughs> he is dedicated. According to the chart, I lean to attend two to three times a week. Oh, yeah, I know what that is. I'm pretty sure if, you put your, if you're playing this game, you know what Otaku is. <laughs> As a Fujoshi of over 20 years experience. Uh, trust me. The other students would always make fun of me for being an otaku freak. But as far as I was concerned, they were the stupid ones for going to school every day. Maybe you try thinking for yourself for once, dipshits. Oh no, my life here really isn't all that bad. Oh, whoops. I've been so busy thinking about the gaze. I forgot I was in the middle of chatting with Grim. Grim is his online friend. Grim was the handle of one of my ESO friends. I talked to him all the time online, though I'd never met him IRL. He had a keen eye for useful information, so I could generally rely on him to keep me in the loop. Is this Daru? It might be Daru, I wonder. Daru is the reason why my name Daru what something Daru said is the reason why uh, my name is, my channel name is what it is. Sat back down and started tapping out a response. <laughs> Whoa, oh god, it's going too fast. Okay. Up all night every night. Daru's handle is Dash. Oh, okay, so that's not Daru. Okay, I don't know who Grim is, so... 
Up all night every night, or do you stay up late doing the dirty with your GF? Lol. Do you not get enough sleep? Guess you must be really tired. Might be. And nah, uh, I didn't fall asleep. I just zoned out for a sec. Lol. You okay? You not replying? You a a k or something? Yo, Nightheart. Yup, say I. Exactly. Come on, you know I'm not into 3D, Raffle. Juvis, Juvis chatted about all sorts of things. And since it was all anonymous, I was comfortable with talking about pretty much anything. A message at the top are, new, are newest. Wow. Okay, so it's, it's like email? So it's, it's like more like an email than an online chat. Oh, wow. Okay, thank you. Jeez. Okay. I've never seen that. Like, the only thing I could compare that to is email. Huh. Like a, a chat that the newest messages are at the top. Two of us chatted about all sorts of things. And since it was all anonymous, I was comfortable with talking about pretty much anything. I never act like this IRL. Obviously. Alright, you like 2D, and by 2D you mean... <laughs> Eroge. What is up with you and lewd shit? Lol. <laughs> Don't act all high and mighty. Me? You're the guy with that poor need delusions all the time. And letting what is going on and on about girls in school swimsuits, remember? Lol. He was? Ooh. I wonder if he has like a... A DID type thing going on. I definitely don't remember that. Anyway. If that's what we're talking about, then here's my take on it. School swimsuit plus glasses equals perfection. <laughs> uh, yes, no. Uh, yeah. Default. It's not a real school swimsuit unless there's a name tag on the chest. Nah. In the end, what really matters is the can- Oh god! Oh god! What? No! <laughs> oh god! Type. Here's my take. Swimsuit glasses combo should be the default. Name tag is unnecessary, though. No respectable individual gives two shits. Oh wow, okay, so there's the- that's how choices work. Basically, it, it, it influences what he says. Somewhere over the camel toe, I don't really think it matters that much in the grand scheme of things. Slow down, man, Lamau. You like girls with glasses? That's your type? Hey! Just because I happen to be a girl with glasses doesn't mean I also can't like girls with glasses. And it's not being narcissistic. No, they just pair well with swimsuits. Well, not in real life. They don't. <laughs> but <laughs> usually, you take your glasses off for swimming, right? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> but she doesn't, and that leaves all sorts of room for my delusions to work. Oh God! Wow, I didn't even see what that said there. Well, your libido is definitely a full throttle today, but that's what makes you n night heart. Lol. I should be disgusted, and yet, la la la. Oh, I was talking about libido. Oh, that was libido. Okay. Wait, go back. What do you mean that? That's what makes you you. Cause I talk about porn all the time. 
I mean, yeah, I guess I went a bit crazy there. But I'm still trying to maintain a cool image of myself here. I mean, to his credit, he looks quite handsome. He's very well groomed and physically fit. You'd never guess that uh, this was his lifestyle based on how he looks. You? Cool? <laughs> what are you laughing at? Anyway, what were we talking about before I went, I went AFK? It's probably just something to do with ESO. Did you seriously forget? There was an incident in IRL recently. An incident in IRL? I remember something like that, but what was it? Shogun has joined the room. Current user 3. Greetings, Lord Shogun! Oh god, I gotta give the online people voices. Oh, shit, fuck. Sup? Uh, I guess very, we'll, we'll see how Shogun acts. I introduced myself, but there was no reply from user named Shogun. What was up with that? Was he ignoring me? I was being so friendly to him, too. Do you know who he was talking to? MMO Master? <laughs> I'll have you know I'm THE Lightning Fast Nightheart. Lurking wasn't even allowed here. Content warning for- t oh. Uh, there's a content warning uh, for this game. It's very bloody and gory. I don't mind blood and gore as long as like- as, as long as, like, I, I'm fine with it, as long as, like, children aren't involved, like, then, uh, then I'm totally fine. I've been desensitized in that. When I was very little, I watched all the Alien and Predator movies, so I, uh, yeah, gore does not affect me. Well, whatever. Might as well just ignore him. I guess that was another great thing about the internet. There's no need to worry about pointless etiquette. Is something like really violent about to happen? Am I gonna get jump scared here? Anyway, what were you saying, Grim? I was talking about those cases that have been all over the news lately. Like I know what's happening IRL. Probably some stupid, right? Pretty much, yeah. It's pretty shocking, though. Shocking? Must have been some real grisly murder, then. There have been a few here and there recently. You're not gonna send me gore again, are you? I did not execute wrath for a living void dollar. I used to work in a lab where we used mice. What? Can't handle a little gore, Nightheart? Lol. Oh, no jump scares? That's nice. I mean, there's nothing I, I, mean, there's nothing I can't handle. Still, I really didn't want to see it. Yeah, especially of real people. Like, why would you share that? Well, you know, real in the context of th their world. Lately, though, it hadn't been easy to avoid that kind of stuff. People were always trying to trigger them to clicking on nasty stuff. Oh, I remember those days. I remember those days. Like gore, some kind of creepy edit. And once you fell for it, you couldn't unsee it. Well, I think I'm used to it by now, sort of. And they call you the greatest pal in all of Boss Lard. Lol. I did not do any of that, Void Dweller. I don't know PK, though. And PK has obviously player kill. Yep, this was all what dot .hack sign was about and dot .hack uh, GU. In other words, is when you go about MMOs killing randos and stealing their golden gear. So typical DQN stuff. Rolling up. <laughs> wow. 
I'm no troll and don't stoop to that level either. And just in general, I try to avoid breaking ESO's rules. Seems like a pretty okay guy. He's a little perverted, but, you know, he's not like a freak about it. Like, uh, I, I noticed that he separates, you know, his waifus from his daughters, you know. As long as someone does that, they're a-okay with me. Just goes against my policy. Well, except for the rules that prohib prohibited RMT. I break those all the time. <laughs> well, I mean, yes. <laughs> Jeez. Calm your tits. <laughs> Fun fact, you actually get an achievement called Normie for reading these tips that everyone knows. <laughs> That's hilarious. Whoa, calm your tits there, oh mighty hero, Lamal. So I'm sure you've heard of New Gen, right? Oh, what's that? Huh? New gen? What was that? Have you ever mentioned it before? Grim was talking like I should have already known about it. How is new gen? The new generation madness. People call it new gen online. Name for the mysterious set of incidents happening in Shibuya. It's all up in your neighborhood, lol. Oh, boy. Hello, Owen. Welcome to the stream. Oh, now that you've mentioned it, I did feel like I've heard about it somewhere. Though all I knew was that they existed. I hadn't looked into them at all. I tried googling new gen and instantly got a few results. Diludal. Because <laughs> of the yeah. delusions. Oh wow, look at this old school uh, news website. Let's see here. Social news madness explodes in today's use. Last night, September 7th, deaths off Cornelius Tower group suicide. Oh god. Pieces of flesh under their finger marks on their hands. Oh wow, that's very Higurashi. Let's see here. Kono ikkagets no aida ni Shibuya de hatsei shita futatsu no jiken no koto o New Gen to yobu. Looks like New Gen is named for two incidents in Shibuya that happened in the past month. It's like a serial killer, it looks like. Oh god! Including a fetus, there's been seven victims. Did like a pregnant lady get stabbed? Oh wow, look at all the blood. He's a very divisive character. Like, I'm, I, I'm, I, I, as I said, I'm fine as long as he doesn't cross certain lines. Oh, well, obviously, Boy Dweller, there's different lines between characters in a story and people in real life. The first, the first incident was a group dive where five friends jumped off a skyscraper. Whoa! So he, like, ate it? And the second one, a fetus was found inside a man's body. Why would they even think these two things are connected? Whoa, are you serious? Why would they even think those two things are connected? A chill ran down my spine. Before I even realized, I turned around, I was looking around my room again. Oh god. I was told there's no jump scares, but this setup seems like the perfect fit for a fucking jump scare. Like he's gonna turn around and see some someone or something in here. I didn't even realize it. I turned around and was looking around my room again. Oh god. Nippoon. Nippoon. <laughs> Taboo. As opposed to Yahoo. He searched on Google and got Yahoo News. <laughs> there were a bunch of res results for new gen on Taboo. 
news. So I went to skim through them. New Generation Madness. The incident set up the entire internet in an uproar. There have been two of them so far. One of them was so brutal, several TV channels didn't even describe the crime out loud. The first incident, the group dive, had initially thought to be a suicide. But rumors had since risen that it may not have been. Parents and friends of the five victims all said the same thing. None of the victims had shown any signs of planning to commit suicide, and they hadn't had any reason to do so either. And on top of that, some physical evidence had been found, too. Had a quick look. Creepy pasta. Well, like something out of creepypasta, right? You shit yourself yet? Not really. I don't care, TBH. Here. Guru Daisuki. Oh, God. <laughs> Whoa, come on. You're just asking for trouble. You're just asking for trouble. If you click that link, talk to me. You are asking for trouble. If you click a link from a website called Guru Daisuki, oh my god. Jeez. Wow. Take a look at this, lol. What is it? Yeah, Grim seems kind of fucked up. A picture of one of the victim's corpses. He's getting a kick out of this. He did stuff like this from time to time. Yeah, he seems, uh... He seems, uh, yeah. Rim seems kind of fucked up. But if I wanted to keep up my reputation as the great knight heart of ba Boss Lord, I couldn't let it phase me. Unlike in the real world, I was a god in the world of ESO. I was the strongest, wisest, and most noble knight in all the land. Mocking me would be a fool's errand. So did he do RP or did he just like, you know, play as... Like, just play the game? I wonder if he, he played in an R RP server or... Or he just like, you know, played on a, a competitive server. And so, gathering up whatever courage I had, I clicked the link. Oh god, you could just fake it, dude. You could just fake it. Say, oh god, that's disgusting, blah blah blah. I can't believe you showed this to me. <laughs> oh man. It was a trick. I see. Oh, it's just some shitty doodle. I'm some random Muppet. Well, no, I got baited. I'm the master of that. Who did this? <laughs> oh, that's something I don't quite recognize the O. He drew it in like two minutes. Let's check that one. An idea graph depicting a person waving. The O is the head and the sl slash is the arm. Typically used as a greeting or farewell. You can also use to show agreement as used in raising their hand. You typically pronounce this O. Damn, the god of art finally shows himself to us mortals. Ruffle. And he was able to upload that to a website called Guru Daisuki. Unless it was a disguised link. <laughs> anyway, not gonna lie, I am dead tired, so I think I'm gonna go fast out. Good night. See you tomorrow in Basilard. Current users too. Okay, now Shogun's gonna come here and and, like, be all creepy, I bet. Come to think of it, that Shogun guy had been here the whole time. I'd completely forgotten about him. Not that I cared, though. Well, I don't really feel like sleeping yet, so I'll go farm an ESO for a bit. Wait, no. New episode of Blood Tune comes out today! 
I didn't have a TV in my room. Oh, wow. Uh, and yeah, watching on, on the internet was kind of a challenge in these days. Is he, is he just going to torrent it? Probably. Because that's what you did in the mid-2000s. I didn't have a TV in my room, so I just made do with my PC. Fifteen minutes to go! Might as well go to the bathroom while I wait. I'll do a quick look at Sarah next to my monitor. I'll get to see Sarah Tom today! I can't wait! With that on my mind, I made my way over to close the chat window. Ooh, boy. Yep. Oh, God, that's probably the real fucking image. This is probably the murderer. Huh? He's probably gonna show the real fucking image. I bet. Gazook. Shogun has sent a message. This is probably gonna be the real fucking murder victim. Ooh, what the... He actually posted! So he wasn't just a lurker? Judging by the file, it's just looking at the image link. A sudden link posted by a suspicious stranger that didn't send a single message until now. I gulped instinctively. Yep. You are internet savvy, my friend. Okay. Couldn't explain why, but I had a bad feeling about this. Oh, it's so Gazoo is image and up upload, so it's like immature. Okay, I see. Feeling unlike anything I'd ever felt in my all my time on the internet. I really didn't want to click it. I clicked my tongue and glanced at the clock. My rendezvous with Sarah Tan was in twelve minutes. I should probably get this conversation over with quickly. It's probably the real thing. Bait and switch. I know what bait and switch means. Hmm. <laughs> Lol. Oh, he's German. Oh, boy. What kind of bait and switch is this, Lamal? Die Welt an der Siege. Wenn du da kurf klickst. I don't know what that means. And I'm probably not saying that right. Whoa, whoa, what's with the German? Lol. I was trying my best to act calm and casual. To be honest, I really didn't want to chat any within a sh with a shady guy like this. Just close the chat window. It was so uncomfortable that I could feel a cold sweat forming. Yeah, I would be too. He was saying something like, the world changes if you click it. Oh, thank you, Owen, for translating. Seriously, what was his deal? That, yeah, no, that's a, that is more than a red flag. That is a blood flag. Yeah, you do not click that. And if the guy only spoke German, I definitely wouldn't be able to deal with him. Oh. Speaking Japanese, here we go. Sorry for startling you. Huh, so he could actually speak normally. I relax a little bit. DW. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry, you're fine. Any reason for lurking? Did someone give you the you need to lurk for six months before a posting spiel? I was thinking. By the way, where are you chatting from? For some reason, there was a short pause. Shibuya. <laughs> well, I mean, he's in Shibuya, so... All at once, images of those gruesome new-gen incidents flashed through my head. Even though I hadn't actually seen any photos, I could picture them so vividly. Almost like I'd been there myself. The man's torn up stomach. The lifeless feet is shoved inside. The five people that dove off that building instantly turning into a pulpy, inhuman puddle upon hitting the ground. 
Just thinking about it was almost as if it's making me puke. I shook my head violently, as to shake the gruesome delusion out of my head. This Shogun guy was so suspicious, I couldn't stop the paranoid delusions from forming. What was he trying to drag me into? Same here! <laughs> Happy emoticons! Looks like... Oh. Oh. Looks like a lot of weird incidents have been happening lately, huh? More are coming. Uh. Shiva, you're so scary. Uh oh. Oh, Shiva. Fun to the power of ten. Times intelligence to the power of 40 equals LR2. Oh boy. Was this Shogun's guy some kind of Denpa nut job? That's something I don't know. The term used to refer to individuals who act or speak in a way that is commonly regarded as incoherent, nonsensical, or disconnected from the world around them. The term comes from the Japanese word Denpa, which literally translates to electromagnetic waves. This is because people in this category often believe that they're hearing voices, thoughts, or instructions in their head via electromagnetic radiation. I've never seen that form live before in my life. When you were as smart as me, that was saying something. Deludal. I tried looking it up. These days, there are all sorts of information on the internet, so it'd be easy to find. Huh. Not getting any results. I mean, he put actual words in there and not, like, variables. So, it seems like he was trying to get something across to you cryptically. Was he trying to act smart by doing some sort of nonsense formula? Fuck if I knew. Oh boy. That formula has killed this world's possibilities. What are you trying to say? And what was that link from earlier? Sounds like a hacker to me. Should I just take the bait already? Lol. I thought it might interest you. Oh boy. Oh boy. Close the chat, man. Close. Th oh god. <laughs> this is like the blood red flag right here. All of a sudden the chat was flooded with links. Just who was this guy? Just block him. Block him. Was he just trying to scare me for shits and giggles? Maybe he was a friend of Grimm's and they teamed up to mess with me. Oh god. Wow, this is a very scary atmosphere. Seriously. Maybe I should turn my desk around. It'll be a really awkward setup, but uh, just for this one moment. Feeling the gaze again, I took a look around the room. But surprise, surprise, all that was behind me was darkness and clutter, as per usual. I was hit with a natural sense of dread. The feeling of perpetually being watched left, left me feeling restless. Don't look at me. And upon saying that, upon saying that, I realized my voice was trembling. It was almost like the cluttered room I knew so well it transformed to someplace completely foreign. 
If you ever had to go to the bathroom at night after watching a horror movie or listen to a ghost or something, yep. Yep. Did you see Saber? I didn't see Saber. Yep, I know that feeling. You may know the feeling of being unnerved or even terrified by the dark hallways of your own home. Yep, that's that seems like a uh that seems like a universal experience. That was close to how I felt right now. <sighs> Don't click it, man. Damn it. You think that shitty bait's gonna phase me? In spite of my shuddering, I faced the monitor, leaned in, and before I knew it with the slightest switch of my index finger, oh, big mistake. I clicked one of the links. No, wait! Uh-oh. Yep. It's images of the murder. I really had no clue how it happened. It wasn't like my hand had been possessed by some unnatural force or something. I just sort of done it without thinking. Now he probably has all your information. Even though I knew full well that'd be a mistake, I clicked it as if it were the most natural thing in the world. Uh, what is this? The image that filled my monitor looked like some kind of modern art piece. An arrangement of spikes like the quills of a hedgehog or pins in a pincushion. Protruded from the wall in the shape of a cross. Below it, a puddle of dark red. And in front of it were small pieces of something. Scattered across the ground like garbage. Seriously, what even was this? The work of some pretentious avant-garde artist? These sorts of idiots were all over the place. They make gory stuff like this and spout some bullshit like, It depicts the latent chaos off laid bare in this cruel world. No way in hell I'd ever consider that shit art. Still, what a weird image. It hadn't explicitly been gore, but it was definitely borderline. So then why? Why did it seem so graphic? Why did it seem so realistic? Why was I imagining the stench of blood? And why was the stench so strong that it nearly made me choke? It was all in my head, so why did I feel so sick to my stomach? I felt a sharp, throbbing pain in my forehead. The nausea wouldn't go away. G I desperately reached for my mouse, but my trembling hand knocked it off the desk, leaving it dangling above the floor by its cord. I remember the days of corded mice. I wish we still had them. Fucking hell. I, I hate wireless mice, and I would use a wired mouse every single chance I get if I could. I reeled it back up to the mouse pad and then finally closed the image. Much as I thought it was finally over, my eyes were struck by... Whose eyes are those eyes? I glanced at the minimum attendance chart. Hello, Zemia. Welcome to the stream. I know I could, but they, they only make like really shitty ones that I can see. In the end, I hadn't managed to catch the new Blood Tune episode live. No big deal. Though someone had upped it to YouTube after the fact, so I've been able to just watch it there. Remember the days when you could watch like stuff, just random episodes of shows on YouTube for free? <laughs> Like, before, like, YouTube was actually policed for content. Like, uh, copyrighted content, I mean. I still didn't feel any better, though. Oh, so he was able to watch his episode, at least. Those last words Shogun had left behind. It's almost as if he knew about God's gaze and how much it terrified me. It was way too specific for it to be just a coincidence. Maybe someone had leaked some info about me online. Maybe it was another ESO player with a grudge against Nightheart or something. I 
Prodigies like me got a lot of love, so naturally they also got a lot of hate. Is he really like a prodigy? Or like, what is, what is his, his area of expertise? Academically, I mean. Or does he just know how to study? Or have, have a, has a good memory, maybe? Well, most haters out there were just jealous. You wouldn't see them around much, but every once in a while, some child would try to start shit because he was just jealous of Nightheart's strength and popularity. But we've gone off topic now. Anyway, yeah, that Shogun guy really got to me. Yeah, seriously. Earlier, I tried logging on to ESO to grind for a little while, but just couldn't concentrate. And to make matters worse, of all days for this to happen. Is it raining or something? It just had to be a shitty day like this. No, I think he's. I definitely think he's smart. I just want to know, like, what his area of expertise is. On top of everything else that had happened, I also had to go to school today. Oh, it was a school day for him. Oh, hello, should me and Beatrice. Welcome to the stream. There is a name I like to see. On top of everything else that happened, I also had to go to school today. I seriously didn't want to go, but if I didn't follow the minimum attendance sheet to a T, my calculation would get completely thrown off. Worst case scenario, I'd even have to repeat the year. <laughs> Bye, Emiya. Thank you so much for coming. I'm so tired. I stifled a yawn and started trudging off towards school. A trip that was about 10 minutes from ba my base on foot. Oh wow, he's so close. That's an in-game bird, Void Father. As soon as I started walking, my mood sank even lower. My body grew heavy and I found it strangely hard to breathe, causing me to break into an uncomfortable sweat. This was what always happened on school days. Going to school was pure suffering. Why did I have to go through this? Grumbling to myself with my eyes fixed on the pavement, I kept on walking. I turned to enter Shoto Park. School was just past it. Over by the lake, an elderly couple was taking their morning stroll. Nearby, a businessman sat on a bench, reading the sports section of the newspaper. For a park on the outskirts of a bustling city like Shibuya, it was surprisingly calm. Definitely a great place to relax. I took a seat on another bench nearby. Before heading to school in the morning, I always came here to eat breakfast. I gazed out toward the peaceful pond. The water surrounded by trees with aqua leaves, their hues slowly changing as autumn rolled in. As per usual, today's menu was just a cream bun that I'd picked from up in the convenience store on the way here. It'd have been enough to tide me over until later tonight. It'd be. Oh, wow. He does not need much food. Dang. Wow, he does not need much food to, to survive. I always skip lunch. Nobody wanted to eat lunch with an otaku freak like me. There was no way in hell he's alone when surrounded by people eating and chatting together. After washing down my breakfast with some cola, I began staring up at the sky absentmindedly. mindedly. 
No matter the season, the sky above Shibuya was always pretty bleak. My parents only lived a few train stations away, but there was still a clear difference between here and there. Don't get me wrong, I didn't especially mind the bleak sky, but I also couldn't really explain why. Well, I think that that's a very nice looking sky. I glanced at my watch to check the time. I need to get going or I'd be late. I had to avoid that outcome at all costs. I only came to school two to three times a week, so I had to keep a low profile. To make it through school, I had to blend in. To be invisible like the air. Oh wow, that's something I used to try to do. The ideal school day was one where nothing happened. Where I didn't have to deal with any of my teachers or DQN classmates. That was the ultimate goal I shot for. And continued to be until the day I finally graduated. I remember in school I would always try to like not be noticed by anyone. But I did like to... Because I did like, I did like the academic aspect of school. So I love to answer questions from the teacher. This was suing me private academy. School I went to. Apparently it only been built around 10 years ago. So it didn't exactly have a rich history or anything like that. Since it still looked brand new, we made a pretty good setting for high school TV shows. Oh, did they have did they have like filming crews here for shows? Jeez. On top of that, school uniforms apparently been designed by some famous designer. Trying to shallow ass girls and roll just so they could wear it. And while they called it a prep school, most students here didn't score much higher than the national average. Even more ironic, though, was the school slogan was, Here you'll be free. And yet the school rules are actually really strict. <laughs> well, that is ironic. Then again, they never actually bothered enforcing those rules. Oh, there you go. So I guess the slogan wasn't really wrong in the end. I mean, I barely ever showed up, and I passed my classes just fine. If you can get away with that, you can probably get away with anything. As I closed in on the school, I could hear the other students more and more clearly. I wasn't good at dealing with crowds, so I just kept my head low as I slipped through the gate. The Steins Gate. No, no, no. Jeez. Nobody talked to me. Nobody talked to me. I repeated those words in my head like a mantra. My younger sister attended the school. Also attended the school. He has a younger sister. Though she still live with my parents. Is, are they going to say why he's not living with his parents if his younger sister is? Why doesn't he live with his parents? It, like, uh, his parents are clearly... Uh, is, they still did despite my best efforts. Void Dweller. His parents are clearly well off, how and like the sister is living with them. Like, why isn't he living with them? Oh, they'll explain it in time. Okay. My younger sister also attended the school, though she still lived with my parents. Run into her, and any perfectly fine day could turn into a nightmare. Luckily, I hadn't run into her this time. I made it to class safe and sound. I rushed over to my seat, being extra careful not to make eye contact with anyone. I could feel a nearby group of girls shoot a glance at me, but thankfully they went right back to chatting afterward. 
They all thought I was a freak. I was sure of it. Well, from my point of view, the Jedi are evil. Uh, you 3D sluts are real freaks here. If you think I'm a freak, then don't look at me. Just pretend I'm not here. Don't acknowledge me at all. Uh, wow, that's that's something I used to kind of say to, my, say to myself all the time at school. If you all just do that, then I won't bother you either, and I can go about my day in peace. Oh, well, yeah, this this part is absolutely relatable right here. That's why it always confuses me when I see DQNs calling people freaks. I just don't get it. Oh, wow. He's not a bad guy. You think they're such a freak, then why even bother talking to them? Just stay in your corner and they'll stay in theirs. Regardless, I was just sitting there looking down at my desk when... Is he Yo, gonna get bullied? Taku. Yo, Taku! I don't know. I gotta see... Uh, I gotta see what this guy looks like. That one suddenly clapped me on the back. Starlight turned to look behind me. Oh my... Hey, hey, didn't know you were coming in today. Uh, oh, Misumi-kun. It was Misumi Daisuke, one of my classmates. He shot me a friendly smile from beside my desk. The guy was pretty handsome, so all the girls were into him. But he was also into them and dated them. A lot of them. So basically, they're exact opposites. Usually multiple at a time. If you ask me, he was bull deep, bull deep in the DQN territory. <laughs> I wonder how these two are even acquainted then. If it were up to me, I'd steer clear of him, but... He is very cute, definitely. I, l I love the way his lips look and the earrings. I, I love his whole androg androgynous thing he has going on. Like with the lips and the earring. Dang. You're looking as grim as ever. You stay up all night playing games again? Battler voice for him? Okay. N not really. He was the only person in the class who was comfortable talking to me. No Kane, welcome to the stream. Though we had absolutely nothing in common, so I had no idea why he bothered. I didn't specifically. Suspicious about it ever since the school year began. If I were a girl, I'd maybe understand, but since I was a guy, it made no sense to me. Oh my god, you're right! This is Battler's voice! Oh my god! I know it's hard since you're shutting it and all, but you should really try to speak up. Hey, what if I could? Just the act of talking to another 3D human being was painful. Well, that's probably because he's been bullied a lot. Anxiety made it hard for me to speak naturally. My lack of experience made it hard for me to articulate things. And I was always afraid of being teased for saying something weird. That's why I always shrunk back. No idea how much pain I'm going through, so please don't talk like you know me. I wonder why he is talking to him. Also, I'm not a goddamn shut in! A naughty Hikikomori. Real shut in, stay in the rooms 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. I'm not like that!
I mean, I can understand feeling nervous about around chicks. But if you keep stuttering like that around me, people might start thinking we're gay. Huh? Oh, wait. Was he just dating girls as a cover? Had he been into guys all along? I tried to back away from him, nearly falling out of my chair in the process. But I quickly grabbed on my desk to catch myself. Hell are you doing, dude? <laughs> Miss Sumikun, are you gay? <laughs> what? No way in hell. Did you forget all the chicks I've landed? I mean, seriously, God. Hello, hello, Mirage. Welcome to the stream. R right. <sighs> that was terrifying. Speaking of landed chicks. Misumi kun took a quick look around. Then lowered his voice and grinned from ear to ear. I just bagged my third girl from this class. Wanna know who? N not really, no. Come on, you can at least pretend to care. It was Tanaka, man. Tanaka. Uh, who's Tanaka? Do you seriously not know the names of our classmates by now? It's nearly October, dude. Well, you say you're not into 3D girls, so I guess it makes sense. Visibly frustrated, he shrugged his shoulders and let out a sigh. Well, interestingly enough, he'd never insulted my taste in girls, which was, to put it simply, that they had to be from the second dimension. But he never called me a freak for that. He just didn't bother with things that didn't interest him. That was what made me think he m might not have been all that bad. That was also probably the reason why I didn't mind talking to him. <laughs> Anyway, I pretty much scored on every cute girl in this class by now. <laughs> I think it's about time I started heading next door. Okay, maybe he was pretty bad. If a girl overheard some of the shit he said, she'd be horrified. There's a real hot one in class D. But it doesn't look like she comes to school much. Ain't got much in the chest, though. I wonder what he does on Valentine's Day. Is it going to be like Persona 4? Or Persona 5? Jeez. Now that I think about it, though, aren't you into flat girls anyway? Get it? <laughs> Are you talking about 2D? That's not... whatever. Alright, alright. New topic. Oh, God. Have you heard about new gen? I didn't expect to hear those words come out of his mouth. And here I thought he was only capable of thinking about girls. I couldn't even picture him watching the news or reading the newspaper. There's been some rumors that the group dive wasn't actually a suicide. What? Yeah, that's what Sports Tokyo said. Oh, are you seriously having to define a source? Come on! 
That's a basic word. That's not even like an otaku word. Wait, so a source with Sports Tokyo? That kind of erased any and all credibility. Still, I'd already known about that rumor, not that I cared. Okay, now listen closely. This is the good part. And I wouldn't have said that the killer's a chick. And a real hottie at that, too. Oh, I wonder if it's the pink haired girl. A chick? Watching Misumi kun get so excited, it finally hit me. Is he into Yandere's? Why do you suddenly care enough to read Sports Tokyo? Same reason he cared about much anything else. Something to do with girls. What a twist! I guess Misumi kun would even go after serial killers as long as they were cute. You're that Toko Fukawa? Although she only has eyes for Byakuya. I mean, if it were me, I'd take a cute 2D serial killer, but... Misumi Kun stared longingly at the blue sky outside the window. And for some reason, his face suddenly lit up as he reached enlightenment itself. Really, though, I wonder what kind of person the murderer is. Is she really a cutie? If she is, then I really want to meet her. Yeah, this dude definitely thought exclusively with the wrong head. <laughs> I knew she wouldn't kill me. I mean, look at me. I got the looks and chicks dig me. No matter how many people she's killed, she'd definitely fall in love with a nice guy like me. And that's why she wouldn't kill you? Wouldn't it be the opposite? This guy was so delusional that it gave me a run for my money. The fact that he was able to say all that without even a hint of irony was pro honestly pretty gross. I I don't really care. How do you mean you don't really care? You know the killer is somewhere in the city, right? Might even be someone you met before. Besides, I've already been killed by one blonde like a hundred times. <laughs> ah, thanks for that one, Olga. Yeah, well, for all I know, you could be the murderer. Okay, probably not. But it was entirely possible that the killer could be one of the students at this very school. Especially if they have a unique character design. If that turned out to be true, maybe I'd use my PTSD as an excuse to come in less often without hurting my attendance. Really, did he have like an, a, hor a bad experience before? So, want to check out the crime scene with me? Close enough to walk from here. I hear they haven't finished cleaning up the blood yet. I had absolutely zero interest in doing that. I just wanted to get through school in peace, go home, greet Saraton, and back to being worshipped like a god in Basilard. Come on, even Kabashi and Asago are going to see it. Oh, 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 he's saying he's, he'd p use PTSD of that incident, like, that hypothetical incident, as an excuse. I see. Thank you, Nagitana. 
本当に興味ないんだ I really don't want to Dude Oh what's going on? What is this? Oh I thought it was like a scene transition. I felt bad about turning Musumikun down. They seemed so excited about it. But I really did not want to go. Does this mean like a choice is coming up? But even though I was trying my hardest to refuse, he just wasn't listening. So Maybe leave and see the murder. They say the criminal always returns to the scene of the crime, right? <laughs> Maybe she'd pick you as her next victim. To atone for your sins, you must die! You know that kind of thing? As for your sins, though, uh, be in a shut it. Okay, so a choice is coming up. Wait, that that wait, the choice already happened? I didn't pick anything. Uh, shouldn't? I'm not I didn't click anything. Wait. Uh, oh uh taking some offense at Masumi kun's words, choice of words. I missed it! Wait, what? I didn't even see anything! Oh, I picked neutral. Okay. Okay, I, I picked... I picked neutral. Okay. I did not see the choice! I just saw everything circling around. I didn't see it at all. You have to click on the red or green. I didn't see any red or green. Taking some offense at Masumi Kun's choice of words, I won't snap back at him. There were buttons on the edge of the screen. I didn't see it. Dang. Okay. I'll try to be more aware of it. I thought it would be like the other one, like that had the buttons. Taking some offense at Masumi Kun's choice of words, I almost snapped back. I already read that. But I quickly decided against it when I considered the possibility he might get upset at me. So I just spit my lip and turned away. When I did, I noticed there was something written on the blackboard. First, I didn't really care enough to read what was written there. My mind only registered the fact that something was written there and not what it was. But the longer I gazed at it, the more I realized something was wrong. It huh? Before I knew it, it was out of my chair! Uh-oh. Is it that formula? Move for a sec! G Ow! What was that for? Oh. Oh boy. I pushed Masumi Kun aside and rushed over to the blackboard. The instant I realized what it said, I felt my heart stop. Oh. Whose eyes are those eyes? Those are the words I said to myself whenever I felt God's gaze. So I guess other people have felt this God's gaze and it looks like that might give him some powers of some kind. And apparently they can sense, sense each other like stand users or something. That That's my guess anyway, like... People who can feel this god's gaze have some sort of special power.
And, like, evil people are using it, like, to commit these murders. And he has to stop them, is what my guess is. Those are the words I said to myself whenever I felt God's gaze. I'd never said them out loud before. I hadn't told anyone about them either. Not even Miss Sumikun. It did not matter how often I used it. There was no way anyone in this class could know about that phrase. So who? Why? How? I quickly turned around and scanned the room. The only person paying attention to any attention to me was Misumi-kun. The rest were talking to their friends, reading manga, say manga being all against the rules, or sleeping on their desks. Then who? Who had written it and when? Had it been there the whole time since the Viridian entered the classroom? I couldn't remember. It, was like, it wasn't like I ever paid any attention to the blackboard anyway. That is very creepy. Come on, what's the matter? Misumi, does Misumi see this? Misumi-kun walked up to me, grabbed my shoulder, and gave me a good shake. Are you even listening? Hello, Taku. It didn't matter who, who'd written it. It had to be a coincidence. It must have just been a common phrase or something. Which is a stupid, pointless scribble. Yeah, that had to be it. Wow, it's like freaking. Looks like an anime screenshot here. I tried to convince myself of that, but it was still freaking me out. I still had no clue who'd written it. I'd have to ask everyone in the class to figure that out, and I didn't have anywhere near that kind of courage. Immediately after I thought that, homeroom began and my teacher came in the room. His eyes immediately zeroed in on the words. Okay, so other people can see it. On the words written on the board, and with a click, quick, come on, who wrote this? He grabbed the eraser and wiped them all away. Ooh, the music is getting all creepy. There's the Shibuya building. The background seemed very good quality here with the the people just like uh, I don't know they fit very well into the backgrounds. For some reason I was still a little creeped out. But I tried to just carry on like always. If I let myself get any more scared, I probably started thinking that someone was deliberately targeting me. That's what it feels like. Like someone that that freaking Shogun guy did. But that was ridiculous. It was just a coincidence. In the end, I had to keep telling myself that until school was over. That until school was over. And when it finally was, I headed toward my usual internet cafe. Ooh, Mindora. Mindora. Programmers wanted free training. Now only 500,000 yen to apply. Jesus Christ. Shady Corp. <laughs> and there is his MMO. For an indoor person like me, at cafe was the only hangout spot and I enjoyed. I remember internet cafes. Like, they they, they were around a lot before, like, um, and I think they still are because of, for, like, uh, for gaming purposes. But they were even more common before smartphones became, like, really, really good at what they do. Being at the center of Shibuya and all, there were plenty of 3D DQN women and all of us drones applying it occupying it. Since the rooms were all private, that wasn't an issue. 
A private room? Oh, wow. As for the room I was in, it was the one I always reserved, room 37, located way in the back. And you could even order food. Wow, that's luxury. It was pretty inconvenient to get refills, but since very few people ever reserved rooms near the back, it was nice and quiet. Once or twice a week, I'd come here on my way home from school to log on to my other ESO account. Okay, so he has more than one account. Nightheart was essentially a celebrity, so this is my way to just relax and enjoy the game. Ah, oh, he's slumming it. Well, I did love being like treated like a hero all the time, but sure did take its toll. Oh, he plays as a girl character. That was why I made another avatar. This one was a female character named Lizalette. Lisa Lot. Is it Lisa Lot or Liza Lot? <laughs> I I haven't accomplished anything big with her. I mainly just made her to help Nightheart look even better by comparison. He still got her up to level fifty. I see though. I played around for about three hours to blow off some steam. Then I had fun messing around with my guild mates while talking about hardcore dojins and other random shit. No canon pronunciation? Okay. By the time I'd left the cafe, it was already around 9 p.m. There were even more DQNs around this time of night. You know what he kind of reminds me of in a way? Like, uh... He, he has, like, that Holden Caulfield vibe. Where he's, like, calling everybody phonies. You're all phonies. That That's what he reminds me of when he does that. They lined the streets like they owned the place, stuffing their faces with greasy-ass hamburgers they let out the most disgusting laugh or imaginable. Just looking at them made me want to puke. And what was especially bad? You just so much as looked at them the wrong way, they'd immediately come home, come beat the shit out of you. What the fuck? That's insane. Fucking savages. That's, that's, that's insanity. What, does he live in fucking Camarocho? My god. I thought this was Shivia. They weren't human. They were animals. Not fit for civilized society. Let's throw them in a slaughterhouse or something. Seriously. No, but seriously. They're coming over and beating you up? Like, it sounds like something would happen in the freaking Yakuza game. Well, I say that, but there was no way I could hope to ever stand up to them myself. So there was no point in trying. Regardless, it was time to get the hell out of Center Guy. You know, I've heard about that. I I, I do want to know what the guy uh, suffix is. A Japanese word using here is a suffix meaning street. The word dory can also be used in this way. Okay. On my way back from the yacht cafe, someone's going to be waiting for him at home, I bet. Oh, boy. I always drop by Manga Drink. Manga Darake, sorry. Which was pretty close by, or Anime Might. Which was a bit further off. I decided to check out an an Animate. Animate. Oh, I get it. Animate. I decided to check out Animate today, so I headed towards the station's south exit. Down that path, there was an instant drop in the number of DQNs. Man, Center Guy was complete and utter chaos. Just walking through it brought me nothing but pain and suffering. I'd never set foot there again if I could help it. Oh, god damn it, no! 
Stop saying that, dude. You're going to regret it. I wish the whole place would just get blown to smithereens. Except Akafan Ma Manga Mangadaraki, of course. Alrighty then. Time to go browsing for some comic stojans or whatever else catches my eye. Oh yeah, that's right. The Blood Tomb Volume 5 DVD was coming out soon. Was it available for pre-order yet? If so, I definitely would need to get one nailed down. Oh my god. The age, the age of DVD singles. <laughs> Remember those overpriced pieces of garbage? Uh, like, they only sold them because they knew it was the only way you could watch like some certain animes. Like, God. I remember those, those fucking overpriced bullshits. Endless individual DVD volumes. Oh, God. And I've heard that it was even worse in Japan. Like, than it was in, than it was in the West for the freaking releases of anime on DVD they had like more volumes was it available for pre-order yet? if so I definitely need to get one nailed down it really is a time capsule of the 2000s it really is it's, uh, it's very nostalgic it's very nostalgic Oh, well, interesting. Well, then, yeah, you're getting a very accurate look at the what what, what life was like in the mid two thousands. Days of the Power Glove. That's when I was a little kid. I think I was too too young for the po for the Power Glove to be like a big thing. I I was too young for that movie. Uh, I know that um, my parents got me an NES when I was like five for my on my fifth birthday. And um, I heard of the Power Glove, but I never actually used it. For a new one, I found myself in an alleyway in Myra Macho. Same alley I always took back home from anim Animate. I blinked a couple of times to make sure I wasn't just seeing things. I took a look inside my bag. Nothing but aside with the usual. Some textbooks and a handheld game system. I guess it would be a GBA or a PSP. I hadn't bought anything from Animate today. Strange. Normally I'd never leave Animate empty handed. Oh, whatever. Let out a sigh and continue walking. Shouldn't take me more than 15 minutes to reach my base from here. I was only a short walk from the station, yet the dazzling neon lights and thick crowds had all but vanished. There were the occasional passerby, usually older couples. It, it could also be a DS, yeah. Heading to love hotels or random businessmen heading home. Aside from that, the place was deserted. Just in time to have a fateful encounter. Hard to believe it's still Shibuya, home of the bustling and TQ and infested center guy. Somehow it was already nighttime. And if that weren't enough, it was especially cloudy tonight. Make it even darker than the usual usuals and the moonlight couldn't shine through. Oh boy. Days what find Das Oh, this is German. Uh oh. Walking into a dark alleyway. Here we go. Here we go again. I walked down this dirty alley more times than I could count. For some reason walking through today I couldn't help but feel as if I'd stepped into another world. The alley was the same as ever, but it felt like it was the first time I'd set foot in it. What's more, the stench of rich, rotting garbage was lingering in the air. The 
The moisture in the atmosphere was so thick that if I hadn't known any better, I'd have assumed that it had just been raining. The air was like syrup on my skin. Wait, hold on. Why did I say again? Has this happened before? Have I suddenly felt the, ha, hadn't I felt the decision of jamais vu before? Just, just double checking on that one because it's not a usually used term. Deja vu, yeah, is, no, is opposite of deja vu. They have not experienced them despite having, okay, it, it's the opposite of deja vu. Fuck. Was I getting my delusions mixed up with reality or something? That sounded like kind of nonsense some expert psychiatrist would say on one of the TV talk shows. Well, whatever. The point was, right at that moment, I was feeling a strange sense of jamais vu. But on top of that, I could feel a prickling sensation on the nape of my neck. A sensation I knew very well. That feeling of being watched from the heavens. Here we go. And I could say for sure that it was no delusion. It felt inescapable. As if no matter where I went, the gaze would follow. There was no doubt in my mind. Someone was watching me. That was just how powerful the sensation was. I desperately wanted to look behind me, but I challenged myself not to. It was a game that I played every once in a while. A test. I called it, I'll t it'll take more than that to make me turn around game. The game. The name of the game, obviously, was to avoid turning around. I played it when I heard a weird sound. I felt like I was being watched. Whenever I felt the gaze, I tend to imagine some kind of insanely terrifying ghost or monster looking behind me. Oh, God. Not like I'd ever actually seen anything in the past 17 years, though. Even on the occasions where I'd lost my patience and turn around. Still, I'd always been able to have at least a little bit of fun with it. Listen to the wind, raise an eyebrow suspiciously, and say phrases ripped out straight of a manga. It was the only reason why I did it. Because it was fun. Definitely not because I was scared or anything. Don't you even dare say that. Uh-oh. What do you think you're looking at, bastard? <laughs> Whose eyes are those eyes? Who said that? Whose eyes are those eyes? <laughs> gotcha. Oh god, he shouldn't have said that. He shouldn't have said the he shouldn't have said the password. Oh god. Okay, to be honest, I was just trying to act calm before I knew it had stopped dead in my tracks. I sense a change in the atmosphere. Oh. Oh god. Paralyzing my body in place. I then noticed my face was soaked with sweat and my knees were shaking. Unable to take it anymore, I turned around. Oh, but between that I lost. But thankfully there was no one behind me. Oh, wow. Not even a car buzzing by or something. So why did I feel so uneasy? So why did I feel so uneasy? Oh. Uh. Ringing in my ears ceased. I hadn't even realized I've been hearing some ringing sounds this whole time. But still, until now, I'd have been completely oblivious to it. And now that it was gone, I couldn't hear anything at all. For a place like Tokyo, this sort of sudden silence seemed completely unreal. 
The sword of perfect science we could hear a pin drop if you focused hard enough. Close my eyes and listen closely, just to see what I could hear. Oh God! Oh God! Jeez, I am so scared. When's uh, when is something gonna pop up? Oh God! I still couldn't hear anything at all. That was pretty strange. No, that was definitely strange. Uh oh, has he gone deaf? Is it like a soundless area? There are all sorts of things I should have been hearing. Trains running by, car runs in the distance, some sort of small noise. It's why I hear nothing. So why did I risk hearing nothing? Was there something wrong with my ears? I felt compelled to shout just so I could hear something. I felt like I might go crazy otherwise. But I couldn't do it. The silence was deafening, but it made me fear what would happen if I broke it. Oh boy. Suddenly a single sound resonated through the silent world. Oh no. Oh, this is what the friend wrote. Oh, oh god. Is he gonna get new gen? Oh boy. Or try to. I turned my head to look for the source, but instead I found a slew of shining objects scattered across the asphalt. Shinjiko? Are those... crosses? When I saw them, my body suddenly unfroze. And naturally, perhaps too naturally, I started moving towards them. my curiosity, I pick one up. It was made of metal with a long pointy end like a needle. Oh boy. A steak? Or a nail, maybe? You better fucking run! Whatever it was, it was shaped like a cross. Hence my initial confusion. It felt almost phantasmal, like it might float away at any moment. Tighten my grip on it. And the sound... Continue to reverberate faintly in the distance. A sound cold enough to send chills down my spine, repeating incessantly. Even so, I could not but move towards its source. It was like I was in a trance. Was it just morbid curiosity? Or was I hoping the noise would save me? And it would grant me salvation from this silent world? You know, this reminded me of that one German folktale. What was it called again? Oh yeah, the Pied Piper of Hamelin. A story in which the sound of one's man's, man, one of his pipe wooed over a hundred children into following him. The clanging sound refused to stop, and the farther I walked, the louder it got. It was coming from farther down the alley, perhaps the corner on my left, past the corner. I heard you tell if I turn that corner, I'll be met with the source of that sound. It's coming from the farther down the alley, past the corner on my left. I heard you tell if I turn that corner, I'll be met with the source of that sound. And yet, I never thought of turning back. Such a thought didn't even cross my mind. When my body was moving on its own again? Oh no! And so I turned the corner, and my eyes were struck by... Did he die? Did I get a bad ending? Oh god. A vibrant crimson shining through the darkness. It is... Oh, it is her! Oh, dang. Or unless... No, it couldn't be. It also is possible that she just found the corpse, too. My first thought was, where have I seen this art piece before? My second thought was, it doesn't look very realistic. 
They were so shocked that my breath wasn't processed to move properly. Normally, when I saw something this terrifying, I'd freeze, scream like a little girl, and piss my pants all at once. The work consisted of spikes arranged on a wall like quills of a hedgehog or pins in a pincushion. When I looked closer, I realized the pincushion was leaking blood. So then, that means the puddle of crimson below it was blood. That's true, her arms are pretty bloody. That is true. That is evidence against her. The feeble glow of a street light just barely reached it, causing the pool to gleam in the darkness. Scattered around were a few shiny pieces of what looked like meat. Maybe I couldn't really tell. I tried to gulp, but my throat had already gone completely dry. Not a single drop of saliva to be found. And then I realized the thing was that was nailed to the wall was a human corpse. A murder that was far too unnatural, far too brutal, far too immoderate. And the one who'd done it, the one who'd nailed those stakes to the wall, was a single girl. That's where I knew that. It's because she was right there, standing in front of her art, holding a bundle of sticks in her blood-soaked hand. I could only see her back from here, so I obviously had no clue what she looked like. What I could tell, though, was what she was wearing. Sui Mei Academy uniform. The stench of running garbage was intensifying, and I was hit with wave after wave of nausea. I put a hand to my mouth to stop myself from vomiting, but I was nearly at my limit. And then it suddenly dawned on me cause of my deja vu. The answer to this question, where have I seen this before? Uh-oh. Is she, is she so good? The picture. Shogun sent... Oh god, he said that out loud. Without meaning to, I said that out loud. Without realizing how dangerous even deadly that mistake could be. In response to my voice, her shoulder twitched slightly. And with that, she slowly turned to face me. In that moment, it was as if her gaze was piercing straight through me. With such desolate eyes. She had just... killed someone. At first, she seemed shocked, but her expression quickly changed to a somber smile, and then... Thank goodness. She softly whispered those words. Thank goodness? Thank goodness for what? And why was she smiling at me? didn't understand. The questions kept piling up. Point where it gets in a chill down my spine. Yep. Pink haired and covered in blood. Yep. That, that's the fate of pink haired anime girls. I didn't understand. The questions kept piling up to the point where it sent a chill down my spine. Now panic, I tried averting my eyes. The first thing that came to my mind was, I don't want anything to do with this. I mean, for starters, I could hardly make eye contact with regular 3D girls, let alone psycho killers, and the police would be here soon and I was hungry. Oh boy.
That's why I should just go home. Yeah, to get out, out, out of here as fast as humanly possible. If I don't, I'll go insane. Taku. <laughs> huh? Suddenly she called out my called me by my name. <coughs> Even though I never told her my name. Hello, Conway. Welcome to Chaos Head. Even though I'd never even met her before. Uh oh. I was looking for you. As she looked at me, her lips twisted into a horrifically fearsome smile. Uh oh. Almost like she was a demon. Oh wow, that's a scream. Screaming at the top of my lungs, I ran as fast as my legs could carry me. It hurt to breathe, but I didn't care. I just kept screaming and running as if my life depended on it. At one point along the way, I turned my head to look behind me. But she didn't seem to be chasing me. Uh-oh. I was completely winded. My lungs, lungs struggled to shove, shovel air in and out. My agonizing panting echoed throughout my room. I plopped down on my computer chair. My body and clothes are completely drenched in sweat. What the fuck had just happened? Another one of my delusions? My nausea was coming unbearable. Trying to alleviate it, I grabbed a cola from the fridge and chugged as fast as I could. The illusion was way too realistic even for my usual standards. And boy, was it gruesome. Too gruesome. I was still out of breath. Could a simple delusion really do this to me? No, it definitely couldn't. I felt an uncomfortable sensation in my right hand. I've been clenching my fist so hard my fingers have nearly turned white. I didn't even notice until just now. I slowly opened my hand one finger at a time. All my, all my heart pounded like a drum. Yep. Oh no. Ah! Lying in the palm of my hand was just a single stake. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh god, you should have chucked it. Oh god. Terrified by the sight of it, I instinctively turned and threw it against the wall. That was a stick from before. Well, I definitely did pick one off from the ground earlier, but... How was that even possible? Had it all been just a delusion? It's not a delusion, bro. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! It can't be possible, it can't be, it can't be, it can't be! Oh god, she's gonna be right behind him one of these days. Oh my god. And my wits end, I started pacing around my room. To figure out whether the nightmare had been real or just another delusion. That was the plan, at least. Well, I slipped on a CD case and lost my balance. Those fucking CD cases. In a panic, I reached out for something to keep myself from falling flat on the floor. Uh-oh. I barely managed to find something to latch onto. Fortunately, that something was my shelf of waifus. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Death by waifu. For a chance to regret it, it was already too late. Oh, did I accidentally skip? I 
I barely managed to find something to latch onto. Fortunately, that's something on the shop. Before I had a chance to regret it, it was already too late. In the end, no matter how hard I tried, I wasn't able to stop myself from falling ass first onto the floor. And to make matters worse, several of my beautifully arranged figures came tumbling down on top of me. I hope they didn't break. Oh, God. Oh, God damn it, this was the worst. Everything about this was just the worst. There's no way this could possibly get any worse. She's here. I keep expecting to fucking see something. God damn it. Oh, God. I let out a groan as I rose to my feet. I had to make sure my fingers were safe. Oh, her sword broke. <laughs> ah, Hignus Chan from Chinkai Makyo! Hell girl. I, I'm guessing it's a hell girl parody. <laughs> Your sword! It snapped clean in two. Why did I have to do one of the expensive ones? I'd be in premium online for this. <laughs> God damn it! You gotta be fucking kidding me! Hello, XT, and welcome to the stream. I tried putting the two halves of the blade back together, but I'd never be able to fit it, fix it perfectly, even if I used glue. Any value once had was now gone. I mean, did he ever plan to sell them? <laughs> Give me a fucking break! Fuck, 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 fuck! Uh-oh. God, I keep expecting it. I turned my chair and kicked it out of sheer rage. Tears began to well up my eyes. Why did I have to go through all this? Whatever, don't deserve this. Oh, it's not a hell girl thing, okay. I fell to the floor and just sat there for a while, heartbroken. Staring dejectedly at my now swordless ign Ignistan. Oh no. Oh wow, I just felt a chill. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. He is trapped. There it is. Once the storm of anger and confusion had passed, I found my mind filling with visions of her face. Along with the modern art I'd seen. I'd actually been physically holding one of those stakes. Which meant it could have been a delusion. It couldn't have been a delusion. It had all been real. I really wanted to deny it, but there was no way I could. By tomorrow, is sure to be all over the media. I really, really didn't want anything to do with this nightmare. There was no way associating with that girl. No, that demon could bring anything but catastrophe for me. Hell, we'd only just met for the first time and there had even been a disaster. Is she going to be like the foreign exchange student in the school the next day? After all, I brought home a critical piece of evidence from that incident. One of the stakes that had been used in the murder. I wouldn't be surprised if that on its own was enough to make me a suspect. And those things weren't really bad enough. A demon had seen my face. There was no way out of this mess. The spirit was going to. That demon was going to. No, forget about that. For now, I should focus on getting things sorted in my head, for my own sake. No, forget about that. For now, I should focus on getting things sorted in my head, for my own sake. If I value my own life, I need to figure things out first. Chow Shogun, who guys is this? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. No about it. it.
That picture must have been some sort of advance notice for that murder. Otherwise, there'd be no way the image could have matched up so perfectly with the crime scene. First, she edited the image together. She said that then she recreated it in real life, right down to the finest detail. That's how the crime had happened. No, in her eyes. I bet it was more of a work of art than a crime. She looked like the kind of psycho dedicated to finishing a job with nothing but sheer perfection. She's fucked up in the head! But why show that picture to me? And wait, how'd she know I was Nightheart? And how the hell did she know my real name? Uh, uh, what was I supposed to do? She, that demon would definitely come to kill me school s soon. If she already knew my name, email, and all that stuff, then there was a very good chance she knew my home address, too. I called up into the fetal position of my chair. The image of that twisted murder was etched et et into my mind. How could I stay calm when I could end up that way, too? <laughs> I don't wanna die, 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 I don't wanna die! Ooh, what's going on? Don't worry! It's gonna be a okay! Huh? Oh, his figure is talking, I think. This is probably a delusion. Sarah Tan laid sideways on my desk, facing me with a smile. Taki! All you gotta do is hold yourself up in this nice little room. Just do that, and the big scary demon can't do nothing to you. She'll get caught by the police any day now, anyway. Till then, you can't trust anyone. Don't listen to anything that anyone says. You see, the thing about demons is that they love taking advantage of the weakness in people's hearts. So you letting your guard down is a big no-no. I know you can make it through this, Taki! I knew you could make it through this, Taki! But, Sarah... He runs away and lives to fight another day! I... Does she have a southern accent? I think there was a saying that went like that, right? Yeah, I think she has like a uh, like some kind of accent. I'm gonna give her a, su a southern accent. You should just focus up. Oh, forget all about the 3D world. Just keep telling yourself it's got nothing to do with me, and you'll feel much better. Cause if it's got nothing to do with you, then there's no need to worry about it. Right? 
誰にも攻撃されないこれぞ最強の自己防衛方法なわけさ Oh my god In fact I'm gonna teach you something you're really gonna like Did you know that shut-ins are the strongest people in the world I mean they never ever see anyone at all so they can never be attacked by anyone that means their self-defense is the super strongest. So tacky. All you have to do is come a complete shut-in. Simple, right? Oh my god. You might be right. Just what I'd expect from my waifu. I can always count on her to give me the best advice, even though it's totally coming from inside my own head. Having regained my peace of mind, I reached out my hand for Saraton, lightly grasping her by her slim waist. Even as our faces drew closer, her smile never wavered. Thank you, Sarah. I'm feeling a lot better now, all thanks to you. And you know what? You're right! The 3D world can eat shit! And as for that demon girl, I bet she doesn't even care that some Ochako freak like me saw her anyway. I'm perfectly safe. I could just live on in peace. So watching my favorite anime or whatever else, and everything will be and everything will be just fine. Just remember what I said before, Taki. Never let your guard down. You hear? Oh yeah, she is definitely southern. She is definitely southern. Yeah, I know. I couldn't trust anyone. I wouldn't listen to a single word they have to say. All I have to do is be cautious of everything in the 3D world. As long as I did that, everything will be just fine. I'm so glad you care that much about me, Sarah. <laughs> well then, time to play some ESO and get some life back in me. And not be faced by a demon girl. Uh-oh. Back to reality. Oops, there goes gravity. Oh boy. Uh-oh. 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 Flying cross, flying cross, another promise. I can't sing if you have if you didn't realize yet. Oh boy. Flying cross, flying cross, fulfilled in all its glory. Uh-oh. Flying cross, flying cross, it unleashes the one and only. Oh boy. Oh boy. Flying cross, flying cross, ending of everything. Late, late into the night, the sound of a beautiful voice could be heard throughout Miyashita Park. Ooh, I recognize that name. Oh, it's a different girl there. Oh, well, let me just, this is not his thoughts, actually. It was coming from a pedestrian bridge that crossed over Meiji Dori. A steady flow of cars passed underneath. But in spite of this, this girl known as Fess, 
Showed no sign of being affected by the noise. She simply kept on singing, leaning back against the handrail of the bridge. I was no event revealed by the light of the moonlit night. On any normal day, if she were to sing in the street in public like this, she would surely attract hundreds of onlookers. Right now, nobody was listening to her sing. For Fess was deliberately concealing her presence, blending into the stillness of the night. Oh, just like Takumi can do. Iconic, the phantasmal paths which lead to this place. I was going to say that, XT, and she does look like Ray. She totally does. This way, she could loiter quietly until the moon left the sky behind. By doing so, by becoming one with the darkness, she felt as if she could free herself from the corrupt atmosphere of Shibuya, if only for a moment. That was what best felt to be true. Okay, you guys, I think I'm going to... I think uh, it's getting a bit late. I think I'm going to uh, save here for the day because it looks like we switched to a new character. I was so expecting him to get fucking cornered by that girl. Oh my god. I was hoping, uh, oh my god, okay, I, I, I thought, I thought it was gonna be there. Hello, Penny, welcome to the stream. Oh, finish the scene? Oh, finish the scene? Okay, it's short? Okay. Okay. Blind playthrough. I do. Little do they know. Their screams will soon turn to silence. Oh boy. Very normal. Oh, I was literally one line of oh oh here we go. Suddenly Fess looked up at the night sky. The clouds covering it were starting to clear up little by little, leaving the space for the moonlight to shine through in their wake. But sadly, any and all starlight was completely drowned out by the dazzling neon of Shibuya. And reproach shall fall upon us as we link hand in hand within the wind. I am losing the melody. Damn it. Fess halted her song, then slowly reached her hand out toward the sky. Ooh. Whose eyes are those eyes? That's going to be the key phrase of this game, isn't it? There we go. Okay, now. Now, now, now. Okay, so he actually... Okay, now. Here we go. There we go. Eyes in eyes. Oh, boy. Okay, you guys. So, we are going to continue this on Sunday. And uh, tomorrow will be more Library of Marina. Uh, I can't wait to see where this goes. And uh, I hope I can get a better grasp on where the choice buttons are next time. So thank you so much for joining me for this first episode. I can't wait to continue So uh, on Sunday. So until next time, I will say so long, farewell, uh, we just say good night. You're all the sweetest of hearts. See ya.